Southwest Archery Spider XL. All right, it's your boy Reed. I got another bow out here. This is not a compound bow. I think, I'm not sure what kind. Of, this might be called a recurve bow. If you're viewing this, you probably know more about it than I do. I'll get to it real quick here and try to make this a quick video. I won't hold too much of your time. Somebody was asking about this the other day. I don't know much about it. It doesn't have a, uh, unfortunately, like a lot of the things that we have, just doesn't have specs on it. Uh, it's a big aggravation. It looks like if you take this limb out right here, this would be a serial number that's just written on here. It says 830 times, you know, 830 eggs. Southwest Archery, a Spider XL is the thing. It's quite long. I'm uh, six feet tall, and so this thing looks, it's probably five feet. Five feet long, I would say. I didn't measure it. I can measure it if it's needed. There again, there's another. You can't quite make out what that says right there, but I don't really think it's like a draw weight or whatever. It's pretty wood right there. There's not a whole lot to this. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably know what that's for. I don't. I guess this is a stabilizer right here, maybe. It says Trophy Ridge. Uh, let's see if I, I don't really know if I can get the whole thing in the picture there. Actually, I probably can't. Just wanted to make a video. I've noticed these videos, you can really see stuff better than the pictures. There's a lot of things that are hard to get pictures of. I found out that these bows are definitely guitars, bows. Um, anything that's long tends to be kind of hard to, uh, especially something like this, long and skinny. Like even if you had like a, a socket, a socket, socket extension or a ratchet like a long ratchet those things tend to be really hard to get good pictures of you, you, you what i've learned to do is kind of try to put it on an angle and that's how i did this when it was sitting on a table inside but still you get there's so much of other things in the picture you know rather than the item that you want to get you can't do it like i'm doing right here i'm trying to go down so you can see um you can see it better as you know the, the way the camera's focusing in on this pretty much just on a more narrow uh scenario here I suppose there's a that, that right there is where there was a tag on there from our stores still got some sticky on there where we pulled the tag off of this we are a pawn shop somebody had uh pawned this there's also something right there right here i'm pointing at right where, where, where can't do it with two hands there's something right there it's kind of like something sticky right there as well that's not from a tag that's something different uh, there's some scratches right here I see just trying to go over the whole bow so you can see it hopefully this is gonna I got a little wet some water leaking off of the roof right there. They need to get the gutters fixed. There's a wasp nest up there too. They've even got, there's even a tree growing in the gutter right there. I don't know if you can see it. That's a little pine tree growing in our gutter back here in the back of this building. Uh, doesn't have anything to do with the bow right here, but I just, the gutters are kind of, need to be cleaned out a little bit up there. So, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of buildings. There's a lot of um, businesses in this little strip mall right here uh, Anyways uh, If you have any questions Be sure to ask and you know, I'll do the best I can to try to um, See if I can figure out the answer I can get my boss to help me take a look at this if somebody has I know somebody asked and you're the one actually who I really made the um, Making this video for right here. I'm not sure what this right here is 
I'm not sure what that is. It's got a screw holding it on. There was another guy in North Carolina that had asked about this. We're located in North Carolina as well. He's the one that asked what the uh, draw weight was, and I'm sorry, I don't have it. I'm sorry, I don't know that. I can tell you this. I, I don't know. I don't. I know so little about bows. What I do know is it's traditionally been. I, I'm a big guy, and I feel like I'm pretty strong. But it's always been hard for me to pull a bow, even if it was like a 50 pound pull. And um, now I didn't get this one all the way back, but I was able to start pulling it pretty easy. So I would think, and that's something I don't know. With these long bows like this, it, it might start getting harder because I didn't get it all the way. So it might start getting harder um, as you go. So if that's the case, then perhaps this is does have a strong weight to it. But from the beginning of me pulling on this, trying to pull it back, I'm trying to pull it back. I wish I could show you. I can't set the, there's nowhere to set the camera up and show you me pulling it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm pulling it pretty easy back to this position it's, i don't think that and i don't think that's all the way that you're supposed to pull it but um anyway i hope that video helps and um if you have any questions hit me back up and i'll try to try to try to get to the bottom of it i don't know how we'll be able to tell for sure what the uh what the draw weight is but um I can sure get my boss to take a look at it and he knows more than I do. I don't think he'll still be able to tell you that because we don't have the type of tool that you measure that with. But um, if you, you know, still ask me if you're interested and I'll try to do the best I can, try to do a little more research on it. Maybe I can uh, Google the, mod, the um, specs on this particular bow or maybe try to contact the company like I did with the Matthews bow we had out here earlier.